Hey guys, I'm the Obix Medium. Welcome to the Ghost of the Street. Obix Medium here, day four. Uh, hope everyone's all alright. I'm here at my mom's. Um, I ended up not sleeping in the tent. And I've come up with an idea, my dad's harmonica. I gave him this when I saw him last. And he never got to use it. So, I'm going to try now and see if I can, I don't know, I've got to earn some money somehow. So, it's been six years since I was in the Blues Brothers, so I'm going to start practicing. Hey guys, England, day six. It's my third day staying with my mum. And I'm in the town where I grew up 13 years ago. I thought I would come and do a bit of exploration. show you guys a little bit of the town where I grew up. Not much has changed. It's on this park. There's another little park over there. I used to go on with my friends. Shops down here, and then the first church I went to in Germany was where I was baptized. The church that I'm going to bring you to is the second church that I used to come to in my life. That was going to school, it's over there. Christmas and Easter to sing in the choirs and whatever. So, it looks like I'll probably be going to Germany to live. I'm going to be going to the coast on Thursday. And I'll be doing some videos there, some investigations in Herbex.
sometimes I used to call them. It's not changed at all. I think that's my phrase because I say it all the time. You know, you know, and join me for the adventure. And Dedicate this memorial to all those who gave their lives while serving the armed forces of the United Kingdom, regardless of circumstances or where they fell. We salute you and thank you all. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Dying for freedom isn't the worst thing that can happen. Being forgotten is. May angels lead you in. Guys, been to the shop, a few bits for my mum. Some reading material. Some watching material. Probably copyrighted on the YouTube video, but I don't really care at the moment. Food, deodorant, my favourite, the Excite one, usually it's Axe. And got some sugar and a nice So I'm just gonna relax here for a minute. Then we're gonna go to my second church in my life. That's up there. So I'll see you in a minute. Breaks over. This is the church. I know I used to go to school here. And I get I get a very strange feeling from the church.
The honest spirits here in this church please communicate with me or knock on the windows just stick in me a sign you're here and I'll come back and do an investigation today guys and um, Thursday I'm going to be going to the coast to find some urbex places to investigate I feel there's a lot of spirits trapped in this church I really need to get in to investigate And the mine where my granddad worked, what's well, abandoned, I need to find out who to communicate, who to uh, contact to be able to get in to do an investigation. But it's very dangerous because it's been closed so long. Anyway, till the next adventure guys, God bless. I'm just happy. having a little break to see if there's any spirits here on the step and if you look where the trail cams are it was perfect cross a minute ago coincidence Not a coincidence. having a break at the church and the door started to shake it's all locked up got any spirits here can you make the door move again please I can feel you talking to me what would you like to say to me Jamie, I feel the name Jamie, and Fred, who's Fred, I feel the number, and I see the number 62, is that how old you are, or how old you passed, Fred if that's you, can you please move the door, Can you please knock on the door? You don't need to be scared to talk to me. I do this every day. I'm not scared, so please don't be scared. Okay, if you're there, can you please move the door or knock on the door? I'm now going to tap on the door. Please respond by knocking back. If you're there, can you please knock?
I don't know. I really need to get in there. A lot of spirits are quite scared to talk because they've never done it before. They've never had somebody who wants to communicate with them, you know. So, see you later. When I was 15 years old in school, I got a phone call from my dad that he was being messed about with his partner in the Blues Brothers. So I said, we made a deal. From then, I was going to be his partner. We toured England and then toured Spain when I was 18. For 10 years, doing the Blues Brothers on stage, all that time. I've been on television and radio and the newspaper and then I ended up on the street traveling to Spain two years that's when I lost my teeth and now they're in Belgium my uh, pretend teeth now I have to live with this for now until my ex-girlfriend sends them to me because of all the mess that's going on in my life. I've known for 10 years that my mom suffers with anxiety and she's on medication. I'm not on any medication. I don't drink. I just smoke cigarettes. And that's bad enough. But last night, I went for a drink with my mom. And she told me something I didn't know, that my grandma, who died last year in Germany, suffered with social anxiety. And that's what I've got. My mum hasn't got social anxiety, she's just got normal anxiety, whatever that is. And everybody loves my mum and my stepdad. They're happy and everybody knows them. So it's the first time that I found out that my grandma suffered with social anxiety and they couldn't get her out of the house. So that gives me an answer that I have. It's in the blood. Well, I'm here at my uh, second school. Cumberland's Middle School. I'm not going to film it because it's daytime and they've just started school. I'm just going to quit a lot. It's changed. Lots of memories here. Wow, and it has changed a lot. Not this area, this is all still the same. But this area used to be massive buildings all here now it's all gone so. just come down this path I just have this feeling that I've been here before well I have been here before you know because it's like a dream when I was at school 13 years ago walking back from school the smells of Freshly cut grass, sounds of the lawnmower, warm to the Coffee. 
Oh god, I don't know when the next perfect is. Intrigued to see where it leads. 